Presumably he knows what the real thing looks like. I just assume because that sword has no magic that his sword's got to be at least a little magical. It might. Who knows? I'm trying well, to make not, a joke, then it's but a I... waste. <laughs> oh, I see that didn't uh, go anywhere. <laughs> so you were going on about survival or whatever, and I could use a drink. You want some water? <laughs> Simpson said he needed a drink. I think he does. And then we'll I think I do too. Offer him a glass of water. It's vinegar. It's not vinegar. <laughs> but I can make it taste like vinegar if you want. Mm. We want him to drink the water. Yum. Ugh. Is it not quenchy enough? Well, that was certainly water. <laughs> were, were you expecting something else? <laughs> I'm sure he wanted something else. Bingo. We didn't have any juice. <sighs> so, you seem very gung-ho about stealing a sword. More that I need to do what was asked. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think anyone's being held at, like, gunpoint. <laughs> Again. Yeah, it really is. She's gonna look off for a moment. Look up at the sky. Mentally flip it off. <laughs> Sam's just gonna snap his fingers to get Hyala back to like <laughs> conversation. <laughs> she she continues looking up, but it's like, what are you doing? Trying to get Sam's your attention. What? Don't need you hey, zoning don't out again for the third time this week. Uh, and the, her her ears kind of flattened at that statement. I I thought I apologized. I mean, you apologize to Nim, you know, after you had your sword pointed at her. Did I? Did he all Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so Nim will go, it was fine. Sam's and Thrones just shoot me all the time. What was that? Samson threatens to shoot me all the time. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, but I never actually do it. I am don't- I especially don't feel in the mood to do it today. <laughs> uh, it's gonna... Like... Grab at her coat a bit. Hey! Hey! Stop mowing! It's been hours! Hey, I'm mowing over here! You okay, Vendon? <laughs> I'm sorry! Jim just channels her in the joysy. Hey, I'm mowing over here! I think they actually just, like, finished. I really hope they didn't hear me. Oh, that'd be hilarious! <laughs> You just, you just hear <laughs> oh god, they got guns too! You just barely hear, like, we're sorry, miss. No, man. Look, also about the bullets, my wind, my mirror still isn't in fix, so it's fine. Ah, uh, damn. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Uh, she just. She's just like, I tried to get rid of it. Get rid of what? Whatever. Is causing us. You see, it's never actually happened before. That I, I oh. remember. 
out of character. It's this thing called feeling emotions. <laughs> no, she has felt emotions before. This is sort of a new extreme. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, like an emotional so paralysis. Uh, oh, it's a little know. something more than that. <laughs> And she feels deeply ashamed of it because of how Samson reacted the first time. And Nim knows about none of that. <laughs> yeah, Nim and emotions just don't don't mix together. They don't. Nim tried to help. It didn't go well. <laughs> and her lesson was Don't, don't ask people about emotions. <laughs> Don't feel emotions? Don't ask people about emotions? Man, if what a you, great way to learn. If you feel an emotion, <laughs> uh, disappear from everybody and stop having it. No, Agreed. Nim's entire emotional state is just be agreeable. That's it. <laughs> Whatever and gets that goal. As much as I like Nim, if I met her in real life, I probably wouldn't be able to stand her for more than two minutes. Oh, yeah, no, she's a terrible people pleaser. That's why she tries so hard. Yeah. No, not even that. For the express purpose that it'd be so fucking obvious that she's a people pleaser. I've met people like that. They irritate me. Not for them existing. But usually one of the lines that come out of my mouth is like, you know you can stop doing that, right? No, Nim doesn't. But also, Nim okay. would probably be on the library all the time. <laughs> so I don't know how many people she'd actually meet. Yeah, I'm not joking. For better or worse, another tangent, but for better or worse, when I meet people that literally are like that, I can't help myself. I'm just like, whatever it is that caused you to be this, don't do it around me because it's actually irritating. <laughs> for, for better or worse. That's why I'm a people displeaser. <laughs> Bull shit! So I can smell the fucking farm from here, Ed. Bull shit! So I'm, not, e I'm not even in the same room as him, and I'm already displeasing him. So when you said I have the power over people, <laughs> the person <laughs> with the leaf blower who's blowing away the uh, lawn trimmings stopped outside of my window three times. Nice. <laughs> They're a serial killer, I can tell. The one time- the only time- <laughs> The leaf can, blower! The only time <laughs> I can ever remember you displeasing me was once. And you did everything in your power, once you realized that, to attempt to please me. Bullshit you are a people displeaser. See how mad he sounds? Yeah, sounds pretty displeased to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've done my job. <laughs> you know what it's starting to sound like? It's starting to sound like I have to spend some money on you. No, it's not, you bastard. <laughs> Hold on, let's see my wallet. I did get paid back some of the money. No, I we're gonna put a pin in this. We have 100, 200, 220. I will, 40, I will kick this? you from 60? the server. <laughs> uh, I will kick you from your own game. How does it sound to have another bubble server? <laughs> I don't have space for it. <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah, no, you do because you had space for that other flush. Yeah, that was nowhere near as big, uh, and it was nowhere near as pleasing. Why does Lordo sometimes sound like a sugar daddy? <laughs> when it comes to, to me a lot, I, I am it. basically his sugar daddy. <laughs> oh no, you're not. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is there competition? Who no, is it? Not Brendan? Anymore. No, Ted? don't worry. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Brendan who, who's Shut the up biggest contributor. Shut up and play the game, damn you! <laughs> yeah, let's go is it Will? The game. Hiala, you were saying? Yeah. Hiala, you were saying? I mean, she she said she's been trying to stop it and nobody had any response to that, so... Trying to stop what, exactly? Whatever all of this is. And you're, she just kind of gestures to her own head. You're, you're saying general terms. What the hell is actually going on? I... What is a this? And he mimics... He, he mimics, like, her gesture, but with a lot of hyperbole. <laughs> <laughs> I... 
I'm I'm not sure what you'd call it. But I've been thinking about certain things. Okay. It's but hard not to only get somewhere. Thinking. It's like they're here. Really here. Like feelings? What? No. Like people? I suppose. So your brain is just making people appear to you? I think I think it's all been things I've seen before, but I haven't remembered until now. You think it's stuff you tried not to remember? I... I don't recall actively trying to forget. Yeah, that's the funny thing with shit like this. You never try to forget. Just it forget about sense. it, forehead. See, I think I got an idea about what's going on with you. And my answer to that is drinking, so, uh, your mileage may vary. Well, the... the plants from before seem to have some effect on it. In a good way or in a bad way? It... makes them go away for a little while. Yeah. Hell, eat up then, and he'll throw another, like... <laughs> He'll throw another, like, bushel back on the ground. She just, she just kind of pushes it away. She's like, I, I don't want too much. I thought you were gonna say, I don't want to end up like you. Enough is never enough. Just throws the other, like, remaining 20-some-odd bushels at her. Listen, if it keeps you going, then that's all that you'll ever need. Y'all might look at me like I have a problem, but as long as I get done what I get done, then it ain't a problem. But you have a steady access to what you need. And we'll be back in the grasslands. You think I can collect a lifetime supply? I don't think so. Yeah. You can always find out how to grow it yourself. That is true. Nam, I'm sure you know some huge nerd that knows about plants or some such. Or just well, live in Zanzibar. Huh? I said, or just live in Zanzibar. No, that's not an option. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, for as little as Yala wants to die, you might actually rather die than do that. <laughs> some of them goes, I think I know a druid in my class. Eh, there you go. I'm sure they can become your dealer. <laughs> I'm just gonna shake her head. I can't. Can't what? You... And she just kind of gestures to him. That. If I were in any other mood, I might take offense to that. <laughs> no, maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, so um, so here's the thing about that, uh, no. I, I plan to find some other way of getting around it. Oh, you find some miracle way to deal through all your problems without having to stop and spend most of your life doing it, then be my guest. In fact, tell me about it. Write a book on it that I won't read. What? What's a book? He knows what books are. I know! <laughs> he just doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Listen, I don't know what you've done, and I don't think you know what I've done. And he's just gonna, like, slightly glance over to Nim and it's like, I certainly don't know what the hell your parents did. We 
we all seem to got our demons. And I take care of mine. Nimas, literally or metaphorically speaking? Yes. Oh. And now we're both. <laughs> I, I hate your family so much. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that, man. Anyway. Her brother's cute, though. Anyway. I deal with my demons. And I don't let them stop me. And I'm just gonna give you one piece of advice. You seem to care about survival all that much. You best not let it stop you either. What do you mean? Ever since we got to town, I've noticed you've been hesitating on pretty much everything. She just kind of shrinks. You can't make a plan of action right now to save your life. And I think that's because of whatever the heck you got going on up there. Now, you may look at me like I'm some sort of poor bastard who drinks his life away. But you should also know by now that I get things done when I need to. Her statement has so much more I... impact. Holy fuck. I've certainly thought many things, but... Poor bastards hardly been one of them. Well, I just don't know anymore. I'm not sure of what impression I give people. That you have a drinking problem. Oh, I know I gave that impression, but... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem if it keeps me going. That's what people with a problem say. Shut up! You're not a psychologist, <laughs> Nim. <laughs> man, Sorry, if we had a psychologist, oh man, they'd be having a field day. <laughs> well, you <laughs> see, the rhino, <laughs> the rhino has a master's in Who psychology. Just his degree, yeah. <laughs> the rhino <laughs> has a rhino. I want Rhino to pull out like the tiniest pair of reading glasses. He actually already has the DSM. Did I mention he does have a tiny pair of glasses? He put yeah. them on when he was talking to Samson. Oh, I completely forgot. Yeah. He better not chime he, in he on just this conversation. He the bag of holding as he puts on the glasses. He just pulls out a, a tweed jacket with the elbow pad. I thought you were going well, to say he see. pulls out like one of those couches. <laughs> 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 Hold on one second, the rhino must retrieve his, uh, therapy couch. And this is why an extra large bag of holding is good the for rhino, these shut the things. hell up. <laughs> How does my continued talking make you feel, the Samson? Right up, shut the hell up. <laughs> uh, I see, hold... I see. How do you uh, got a whole damn therapy couch in there? You can't spare another bottle for your good sad friend over here. Because of a bottle will not allow you to solve your issues. Hey, I'll put the some rhino is in providing there. you with therapy through removal of the negative stimuli. You can rem remove some stimuli from yourself. I see. That's early childhood <laughs> drama. Yes, yes. How did you know I was an actor growing up? <laughs> Rhino just please. looks away from the so notepad, much. pushes his glasses up, gets the whole anime white light machine, because I have a PhD in mental therapeutics. I thought you were going to say in mental gymnastics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a, no, that was my undergraduate. I, I had a I had a minor in the mental gymnastics, real gymnastics, and African dance. 
Damn. Zanzibarian dance culture. <laughs> oh. But back on track. Back on track from the reality that didn't happen. Uh, that's for a different kind of campaign. Um. Yeah, no, I genuinely can't remember where we were. I was too busy seeing Dr. Rhino Phil. Uh, Samson was telling Kiala stop concealing and not feeling. Oh, yeah! Like, he Feel. was telling Kiala, uh, to ingest, <laughs> ingest consumable to put feeling in the way. <laughs> and then went, I know a guy. <laughs> but, anyway, back on track. Like, do I have a drinking problem? Maybe. But right now, that's the least of my problem. And because uh, Samson's back is to Rhino, Hyala, you'll see, as he says, do I have a drinking problem, Rhino just looks up and raises his finger, and then Samson goes, but that's the least of my problems, and Rhino just... And just, closes, turns. just closes his hand, cocks his head to the side, it's like, I'm gonna sh Just has that complete look of, nope, 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 just gonna shut up, he's right. <laughs> Fully ready to have pounced on that animal. For but. starters, we have a getting a sword of Zanzibar problem, and we have a getting the hell off Zanzibar problem. Then I have a getting medical attention for someone problem, and then I have some sort of angel killing problem I gotta deal with. Okay. And if whiskey is the only thing that helps me get through it, then by God, I will drink as much whiskey as I need to. Did you say as me or fascinating? Fascinating! Ah. Uh, as me. She's just, she's just pondering. I don't even want to think about what that could mean. Being said. I'm Yellow. indecisive? And then learned her lesson and does not contribute to emotional and uh, conversations. You learned Gala. every fucking Nim. wrong lesson to be learned. I know, it's fantastic! <laughs> Nim, this is literally the opposite of the lesson we're trying to give you. Nim doesn't know that! Look, Nim's only thing is like, don't get hurt. That's it. Don't get Physically, in this case, as the threat is now there. You know that I know what you got going on back home. A child. Well, Nim doesn't say that, but Nim does know. Yeah. Oh, Samson's just going with this if it's the only thing that, like, a part of what she was talking about with her whole survival talk. Well, I don't really understand from being from the completely other side of the world, it seems. Which is really funny, considering both They're, they're neighbors, it. yeah! It's the funniest <laughs> shit. I understand that. Okay, just just making sure, but that's also really but, funny. But really. also literally, like, two different worlds. Yeah. When worlds collide, it's a dangerous thing. Yeah. I can't say for certain that I know exactly what you're going through or what it's like to have what you have. But I know you're waiting to get back to it. Look at everything that we've gone through. If at any point we hesitated, we would have been buried somewhere in the sand, somewhere in that forest, or even sunk it on that ship when we were first getting in here. So I really want to make a sniper remark like, yeah, place to go back home to. Hooray. Oh, you're getting, you're talking next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And then we have to figure out how to talk to Samson. How, what do you mean? Samson is fine. No, he's not. <laughs> Samson is a no, no, no. okay. <laughs> In what sense of the word? In what translation of the word? Uh, Samson is at full health. The OK stands for Oh, he is not OK. <laughs> oh, crap with a K! <laughs> yep. Hmm. What do you mean? Samson's fine. No, he's not. We'll address that momentarily. When I say it's fine, don't worry about it, when I mean it. When Samson tries to say it, it can't be believed. See, the DM is lying to us again. Gaslighting us, even. Golly. <laughs> See, you can you know, feel the displeasure from his face without even seeing it. <laughs> you know, I can make it so that you never come across liquor again. You, I know you can. And Samson would just talk, chalk it up to his terrible luck. In fact, I can make it so that everything's juiced. <laughs> Even the water? I could give Samson that disease where he can't drink alcohol. I could do anything. I feel like he would continue to drink alcohol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he would be, he would be, well. I would uh -huh. say he would huh? die, but that's, huh? that's not really huh? gonna stop him. Huh? <laughs> No, just make it to every time he picks up alcohol, it turns into water. He already had that idea. Any Husala. You were saying? Listen, am I a great example how I do of my problems? Sure as hell not. This is not that kind of group. <laughs> but first step to admitting you have to to fixing a problem is admitting you have one. Yeah, what Rhino said. So admit that you have a problem. But he didn't actually. I will not. Just, I'm just okay. <laughs> I refuse. Yeah. Go on. But you have to do your best to make sure that it does not get you killed. If you're so keen on survival as you say you are. I just kind of let out a small sigh. To be like... Sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, things are never easy. And as for you, Nim, yes. what the hell is wrong with you? Why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly why. <sighs> you have to be the single worst people person I have ever met in my life. Oh. That doesn't sound like a good thing. <laughs> it is most certainly not. And it leads me to believe that if you were you in literally any other walk of life, it would have gotten you killed ten times over. Oh, we'll refrain from making an angsty comment. And just says, I see. But every time I see you just trying to do something in what is single handedly the worst way I've ever seen anyone go about it, <laughs> the only thing I can think is that your parents are the biggest failures I have ever heard of. Nim wonders if now is the time to talk about how she was raised by a nanny. <laughs> now is the perfect time to mention that. Yeah, uh, Nim goes, ah, uh, 
I was raised by my nanny. What the hell's a nanny? How do you explain a nanny to someone who doesn't know? <laughs> uh, it's like a babysitter that never leaves. What the hell's a babysitter? You're just making up words. Why do rich people uh, always do I, this? I believe it's some sort of you... surrogate parent. Yes, but also, didn't Samson say that exact word when he was talking about Rhino earlier? A babysitter? Yeah. Technically, Yala did. Oh. <laughs> um, it's someone who you pay to watch over your kids, but a babysitter usually does it in the short term, a nanny does it until they get fired, they quit, or... So you decide they need to take a break. So someone was paid to act like a parent to you? No, well, yes. yes. <laughs> Under the parameters my mom and dad set. Which were? I wouldn't know, I didn't ask. Why not? Is that a thing you ask? What are your yeah. rules for raising me? <laughs> that last part was me. <laughs> yes. Oh. I'll have to ask next time I'm in town. So, here I am thinking that you were raised by some awful people. And it turns out that they couldn't even bother to raise you themselves. Ha 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 just gonna kind of <laughs> look down. <laughs> There's no way you can cheer up Nim without it hurting him. <laughs> you too? <laughs> what? I don't think I didn't notice that. <laughs> Apparently, what I just said to her hit close to you, too. What the? <laughs> huh? She's just, just, just clamming up. <laughs> Nim doesn't understand what the problem is. This is pretty normal for her. <laughs> Don't let the first thing you're decisive on in literal days be clamming up on me now. <laughs> Nim goes, I don't know how uh, strange that is to you, but where I'm from, most of the time children are raised by nannies and your parents only take over the important things. And what exactly did your parents deem so important to actually raise you on? Ha <laughs> ha! It was me laughing. Darn. Really, was she Coward. Fucking <laughs> coward. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause, uh... Uh... Well, Nim, like, does a qu quick mental checklist. I was taught etiquette. No, that was by someone else. Um... Oh! Mother says that, uh... The way a lady dresses is very important. It is true, you do need a heavier coat when it's cold outside. Nim nods, and then Dad sometimes talks about business practices, but that's more of an at you thing. Then Nim thinks, yeah. What the hell oh, is wrong mom with said, rich people? Mom, <laughs> mom says. Whenever you feel really bad, buy diamonds. They won't make you feel better, but they do make you look better. What the hell is wrong <laughs> with, witch pe with rich people? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good slip. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I feel like that conversation was, Bitch, you live like this? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Everything is like studded with gems. It's like, bitch, you live like this? You don't? <laughs> Nim just buys sugar crystals instead of actual gemstones. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, that's what I learned, is that if I get depressed, I make brownies. It doesn't help the depression, but at least I have depression and brownies. Yeah! You guys do things for when you feel sad? You should! If I want brownies. <laughs> you guys feel sad? Oh, nah, fam. fuck Just eat you! Sugar. Don't even bother lying to me like that! <laughs> What do you Any mean? other group you could get away with that with. No, I'm here, bitch ass. What do you mean? I don't get sad. I get unhappy, or I get, like, existentially dead inside. Uh, that's no, a lot worse. No middle ground. So, Nim will that ask, what was your upbringing like, Samson? Absolutely horseshit, you know it. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> Alright, we're talking about parents, let's we're go! We're talking yeah. about Samson! Yeah, problem. so Nimbus, what was your upbringing like, Samson? Uh, I lived in a small community of nomadic farmers. You we told lived... us that already. Yeah, that was my upbringing. I lived with my ma, never knew my pa. Became friends with the literal any other children that were there. Some people came, some people went, helped around with farming, did odd, did little odd jobs. We lived together, we had homes, we shared food, we shared water. Times were good. Okay, so Nim's gonna follow that up with... You do a lot of the talking. Is it because you don't want to talk about your feelings? Come again? Wait, what was her question? You do a lot of talking. Why don't you talk about her? Like, are you doing it to avoid talking? Pretty much. Do you do you do you talk so you don't have to talk about yourself in actual detail? You know, I could flip that question question back at you, but I have a feeling I already know the answer. Out of character, what do you think the answer to that is? Nim is like, yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> actually, no. Actually... Nim would say no because that would that like saying yes would admit that she has problems. Okay, so the actual yeah, answer to that is answer. actually no. She talks for a different reason. What? Yeah. So. Gosh, Hyala wants to make a comment, but I don't think she would. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Well, Hyala wants to make a comment, does that mean she does? Mm. I mean, I don't know, there have been times she wanted to chime in and it was just like, nah, it's better not to. Why are you two cowards? Because Hyala's terrible! I don't know how to explain yeah. that any more clearly. Not terrible. You, I Yala. don't know how to I don't know how to explain a single word with more words. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so then we'll further elaborate. Every time someone asks you about something, you either give like the bare bones answer or you dance around the question and then the topic is bleh, the topic gets changed. I have no idea what you're talking about. You asked like me that about right my there. upbringing, and I brought and I talked about it. What more do you want to know about my childhood? I was actually happy, and all I wanted to do was get back to that. Now I got taxed. What was your first moment of intense dread? Damn. <laughs> was that in character? What was the first thing that made you sad? Well... <laughs> it was probably when one of the families that was traveling with us decided they were gonna stay in one of the towns we passed by. And... basically never saw them again. I don't think they died. We just never got around there. Are you gonna go and visit someday? Who knows? They might have packed up and left for a different town. No point trying to keep tabs on people. Seems like there's lots of reasons to keep tabs on people. Yeah. Pe you learn 
One thing you learn from the from the nomadic lifestyle is that people come and go. You make friends, you hear stories, you share food and drink, and then you maybe never see him again. Interestingly, it was quite different for me. Oh? We moved about, but it was always as a group. Did I you ever get like any new people? Me. It was rare, but on occasion. And I'm not talking about, like, kids. I know. Like, well. Most people don't travel up there. Fair. It's quite separate from everywhere else. And so... For a long time, I figured it must be entirely different. And you were right. Not entirely. And she just, she takes a moment to, um, she glances towards uh, where the, the body bag of holding is, and then looks back to the group. It's... There have certainly been... Similarities I wouldn't have expected. I hate to admit when I'm wrong... But I have to agree with you. I always... Have thought that... The people that... I grew up with my clan. They were really the only ones that would understand or that I would be a part of. <laughs> I'm gonna ask y'all a serious question here. Ah, uh, yes, for this totally unserious conversation. Yeah, you've only been joking for the past three hours. Man, you're, you're just, you're just gonna force your vibe? We were having so much fun, and now yeah. you're gonna bring it seriously. Deal with it. If I have to sober up, so do the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Go on. How do y'all define family? Kel's gonna look to Nim. Basically, people you go you, first. Uh, people you occasionally live with. At, at that, Samson's just gonna, like, give an exasperated sigh. <laughs> I don't know like, what you look, were expecting. Just look down and shake his head. <laughs> I don't know what you were expecting. And you? Y'all? I suppose... And she- she has to take a moment to think. But she ends up saying... It's... Everyone. And then she shakes her head a moment and says, I mean... It's the ones you have connections to. The connections that let you live. So I guess... I guess I'd define it as survival. Survival is family. Family is survival. Ohana, Ohana means, means family. family. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Family means no one is left I behind! I am so glad oh, you guys picked mm -hmm. up what I was putting down! Woo! Woo! Friendship bonding! No. <laughs> Shut up, you, you know that you- You know that you'll be in my life forever. Yeah. <laughs>
Soto's like, you can't leave. <laughs> I never intended. He has to be there. He has to be my best man. Homie's like, I've locked the door, you can't leave, and I'm like, shit, I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> anyway. And then I jumped out the window. <laughs> what does Samson say, family meetings? Family? Family? As far as I can tell, family can be anyone. You could be kin. You could be strangers. I'll be the bottom of a bottle. <laughs> That's not an anyone, silly. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he he said a few things that have made her think about that. Nim wonders if this is Samson's way of saying he's gonna send her off to boarding school. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tear your childhood down with my bare hands. <laughs> I'm so tempted to say it. I want you to. You have skipped out on so many things. Take this chance. Take this chance. Well, is Samson done talking, first of all? Uh, I think of family as just... Anyone you can get close to, share a story, some smiles, rely on, rely on. but I don't know how much, I don't know how much I think that's true anymore. And he's just gonna, he, this time his eye, he's like, his entire glance is just gonna shift off to, like, the emptiness. I wonder... You wonder what? Uh... I'm not sure. Strange. It's always strange. Ain't no normal around here. I doubt there's normal anywhere. Everybody's got their own normal. <laughs> and some people's mm. normal sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I think yours is the worst normal I've ever heard of. And he's sta he Samson's looking directly at Nim when he says that. So Nim, it's like, I guess reading books every day wouldn't suit your taste. Uh, that's what she chooses to say. I don't believe that's what he was referring to. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm imagining that it has more to do with your parents. Oh. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out why, considering she doesn't know what their normal is. <laughs> I'm so, so ter- I'm so tempted to have Rhino pipe up and say something. Don't you dare. <laughs> I wouldn't be, for better or worse, the person I am without my ma. And the only reason I'm here, in this heat-corroded hellhole, He's just gonna desert- he's just gonna gesture to the desert around him. Still filled with a, a literal civil war of Zorn. Yeah, oh, they'll be fine. I- part of me just wants to take a fucking pot shot at one of the black Zorns. <laughs> but not right now, we're having emotional times. So you're in the middle of something? Yeah. And the only reason I'm out here is it's the only way I can pay her back. I talk a lot about family, but my mom's the only kin I know. I met a lot of people in my life. 
Some of them stayed, and some go. Sometimes I'm the one who left. It's never easy. But the only constant is my ma. And she's dying. I know it's not weird for a mother to die before her child. Ain't that dumb. That doesn't make it better. But certainly as hell couldn't call her my son if I didn't do anything to help. Then I hear how some people's, some other people's parents are. You know, if he fucked up, and then he goes, yeah, some people's parents suck. <laughs> <laughs> and I know she did everything in her power to raise me to be a good person. And I hear other people do doing. everything in their power to just not raise their kids at all. <laughs> a misappropriate, a misdirected guilty conscience is still a guilty conscience. Oh no! This the entire time we've been talking about how terrible Nim's parents are, he has been like, ah. <sighs> nah, fam, you Gucci. You put her with someone who cares. Nim's nanny definitely did not. She put her with multiple people who care. Yeah. It doesn't ease the guilt. No, yeah. no, it doesn't. Like, if if she starts to chime in on this, she's gonna be like, yeah, those horrible, terrible pieces that you should never do. And she's actually just talking about herself. And... Nim, what do you have back home? And I don't need possession. Oh. <laughs> that changed his thing. I fucking knew. I, just I knew she it. She opens her mouth and she says not possessions and she just closes her mouth slowly. It's just like, like a like... slow moving pop cat. It's like her mouth just opens and then just shuts again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I. Sweet, but. Was it only, like, Nim and Celeste who talked about their plans to, like, go travel the world? Yeah. After all this? Yeah, I don't recall any of that. Yeah, okay. It happened, like, once and it was never brought up again. Well, shh. Yeah, we probably need to discuss that at some point. <laughs> like, what do you have waiting for you at home? Are you? I, I know you're top student in your school. That's the whole reason why any of us are in the But do you oh, have no. some sort of plan? Do you have anyone you're looking to go back to? <laughs> this is me laughing, not Nim. Nim thinks for a second. She's like, well, I did my studies up to about four months out because I wasn't sure how long this would take. But I do still have that term paper to finish, so I guess I'll have to get back to that. Definitely not what he And that's what Jim's Anything put. longer term? No. Do you guys have longer term plans? Yeah. Get my mom healed, find my nomad tribe, and go back to life the way I wanted it to be. Maybe at some point I might settle down somewhere and open a tavern. <laughs> Nim looks at Yala. Hmm? Samson's also going to look at Yala. Yeah, what are your goals? She, she, she looks back. 
They stare at the abyss. The abyss stares back. At both of us? Are you just like frog eyed? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's she's like looking between you two. Namas, do you not have a ghoul? I thought you said for a second, do you not have a ghoul? <laughs> I have an obligation. What kind? Well, I... I was training to be a leader. Do you want to be the leader? I don't suspect that matters. It's the only thing I was raised to do. I don't have anything but that. What about your other obligation, if any? Well, of course. <laughs> that's not I... an obligation, that's a pleasure. Listen, I just had to make sure. I... And just goes, obligations suck. I don't think so. Mm. You know, it's nice to have something to look forward to. I wonder what that's like. Ah. And Sizzle, so take your word for it. What I want to know is what do we do when we drop this sword off? I know a nice steak restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm asking. After we get this done, are we all back to being strangers? I hope not. <laughs> yeah, the question has stunned Yellow to silence. I think that's a good time. This is a good time to move this to scene forward because none of us seem to have an answer for that. I said, <laughs> no, I mean, no, well, yeah. I have an answer to I that. was about to well. say, I'm going to give you another eight minutes to uh, finish this up and then I'm going to forcefully advance time. Uh, Not no, because I, I'm bored, just because. Does anyone say anything after it gets, I assume, disturbingly quiet? I, I, I like Nim's little thing of just saying, I hope not. Big Dwight. <laughs> Big Dwight. <laughs> At least I hope that's what you said, and I hope I didn't have any malfunction. You, you did. Oh. And fade to black. <laughs> and fade to black. The you next... wake up and everyone feels sick because you're right in front of Zanzibar's tower. No. Oh, I feel sick anyway. <laughs> no. I feel sober. So, for, <laughs> which makes me feel sick. <laughs> Drake Samson feels sick. Makes me feel, well, normal. I feel this way all the time. I hope. So, anyway. So the next, the last few hours of your long journey will go with the sights and sounds of thickening battle. The you know what, I'm gonna, I'm, I wanna shoot one of the Black Zord. Oh boy. Go for a pot shot. All right. 
it I thought they were resistant to piercing, right? Yeah, so? They're also not fighting me. Yeah, but don't pull them over. Yeah! <laughs> That's my only response. Gonna go for a big one or a small one? Um... I'll go for a big one. Well, this happens, I'm gonna be right back. Samson feels like hurting one of these, because he doesn't like the Black Zorn. But he does really like the, the other Zorn that like us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for that roll. <laughs> so, under the uh, careful watch of blanking, ah, Rhino, uh, you go to safely put your rifle through some of the netting and from your camo you let off a shot that isn't nearly as well heard because as you're drawing closer to the tower within I'd say the last thousand feet it's kind of just muffled by all the screams growlings clawing and sounds of flesh and meat being pulled apart but you successfully lose a shot and it goes screening, uh, screeching across the sand into the eye of a large black zorn. Which distracts it enough and causes it enough pain that one of the large tan zorn just start pulling it apart at the seams. Can I roll the damage just for funsies? Go roll the damage just for funsies, and I'm gonna wait for Shay to get back. Wow, both D10s rolled a four. <laughs> Damn. Both D10s rolled a four. Sheesh! Sheesh! Oh, I love these Fox comics! Yeah, I like this one in particular. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that wordage used for different comics. <laughs> Do you want the moon? I can get it for you. I want you to get three regular meals every day and hold a healthy regular sleep schedule. I will not. I will. How dare you? I'm back! Good! You're back! Samson shot at a Zorn and took out its eye. Ouch. Yeah. No, but it's a it, it was the Black Zorn, so it's fine. I know, but still, it hurts. True. Maybe he shouldn't have just had an eye there. So what did he do after? Uh, got literally ripped mm -hmm. apart by his opponent. In a bloody, uh. bloody, bloody mess. Glad I missed the description. It's I don't like what happens. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't blood oh. and gore. <laughs> Zanzibar's got proximity chat on. <laughs> <laughs> Are we at Zantax Tower? You're within the last hundred feet. Or last thousand feet, I'm sorry. That's right, Peter. How's anyway. Nymphiel? <laughs> Nymphiel's fine. Oh, cool. Yeah, but as you begin uh, drawing closer, you, you start to get an idea of what the commotion might be all about. And it's at that point that you will see one of the sand dunes just start moving. And it just forms an arm, and it just lashes into all of the Zorn there. And you see a golem start to rise up, and it just starts letting out deep, booming, you know, uh, golem noises. Is it Panak? It is not Panak. <laughs> I... Uh, can it be Panak? <laughs> it cannot be Panak. It would be... Pan not enough time has happened for Panak to Panak into that. <laughs> I would, wait, someday we should just meet Teen Panak. It's just like our size. It, so is it just Teen Groot? Yeah. 
but hopefully nicer. Yeah. No. And as it rises up, it was much closer than you might have thought. So Rhino quickly uh, jumps across the Lily and just pulls on the reins. And uh, what you gonna do? Nothing. Mm, uh, I mean, last do... time we were told to just be quiet, right? Oh, yeah. um, I still have. I never put the golem core in the, uh, like the big one in the bag of holding. Did you never? So... No, because I didn't have the bags of holding when we got the golem core. Wait, is it just sitting out? With a ration tag on it? Oh, put it in wait. the bag! Did you, okay. put, did you put the small ones in the bag? The small ones are in my pouch with all of the atom ammo. So, I'm probably going to shove all three of them into a bag of holding. <laughs> Real quiet like. So, as you do that, the golem is just fighting off both colors, both colors of Zorn. And among all the golem screaming and yelling and the... Did I say golem or Zorn? Zorn screaming and yelling, and the golem beeps and boops. Beep boop. You just see it, like, crushing the smaller Zorn like grapes. Ew. Nim doesn't look. Damn, that seems like a waste. <laughs> so, yeah. And as soon as it takes, like, a step towards you. You see the core look directly at all of you. Just as Samson's getting the cores into the bag. Kill's <laughs> looking up at it. Remember, we still have the camo on. Yeah. It's camo, Shay. And it's at that point that Lily's butt kind of wiggles and she starts making unhappy noises. God damn it, Lily. Oh boy. Been over this. And all of a sudden, Samson, would you say you're close to the back of Lily? Uh, most likely. Yeah. You just see a big tan arm with a slightest tinge of blue come past you, and you just hear, What the really As this blue, tannish bluish Zorn comes just crawling across Lily, pushing Rhino out of the way. Charging up onto her head and jumping, not onto, not towards, but into the golem. And well, that means that they were smart. And you to to see it. this zorn yeah. almost complete, like the golem doesn't even know what's happening, and it's just trying to feel around where the zorn should be, but it keeps missing. And you watch this thing swim up the golem towards the coal core. And it just grabs onto the core and starts shoving it into its mouth. Cool. Whoa. And as it does that, the golem just kind of starts to dissipate. And as it swallows the core, it falls back down, looks at the three of you, and just gets the best approximation of a smile that a Zorn can muster. And just goes, What the hell? What? Wait a minute. You said it was blue, right? It's got yeah. a slight bluish tinge. Oh my god, guys, that's our friend! Nim says hello. The one who ate he, your cold he's thing. Blue! You you gave your little rock to it back when we first got into the savannah. That him! Wow. Joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's just salty. It, it just saved our life. And it starts looking at the other Zorn, the other Tan Zorn, and it just keeps screaming like that. And pretty soon, the entire, like, thousand feet around Zanzibar's tower is just engulfed in Tan Zorn screaming happy screams. Pop. Marina, what are they saying? And once again, Rhino kind of just has that tired look on his face. Right. Three seconds. 
and he just counts down from three on one hand. So, you didn't know what contract you basically made with them, did you? Absolutely Again. not. <laughs> we don't understand. <laughs> Why is you he... Expect, you expect us to understand what the hell they're saying? You should already know that you're wrong. That's... <laughs> yeah, I thought maybe you had gotten... You started a civil war, but oh. also not... Uh, as things are still kind of raging and slightly settling down... See, a little more of an anatomy lesson. The Rhino previously stated that Zorin eat golem cores, yes? Yes. Yes. Well, they're both nutrients and also the necessary part for the evolution to become an elder, i.e. the big ones. Okay. The Tan Zorn can't normally get into the desert to get the cores, so they are usually typically weaker and thus live in the savannah. You provided okay. them the unique opportunity to go seize a golem core, which is why they asked for the stone, which is why they're in the desert, and which is why we've been lucky enough to be able to pass through all this noise. You basically started a Zorn war. A war of Zorn! Are we winning? <laughs> Good question. They got, they managed to grab the core of a very old golem. So, yes? Was it tasty? I hope so. I, yes, yes, it was tasty. It was the most delicious thing to ever be, never. Hmm. Oh, I you know, we to should get, some, I'm going to go to the name, it's like, we should get our hands on some of those small ones and see if we can. Nim is so willing to try. <laughs> um. <laughs> at, at that, you just see Rhino pick up his decanter. He points it at Samson and just he says, "Stream." <laughs> is that the is that the one that um? That's his. Pushes me. Huh? Uh, it, or is that just for funny? That's for funny. He's trying okay. to just doubt the water gun you. Bad oh. Samson. Thanks, I was feeling a little stuffy. So anyway, I'm thinking that we might be able to get our hands on a few of these golem cores. Oh, what if it makes a stomach golem? Hey, that might kill us. <laughs> I was about to say, that doesn't sound imagine. very safe. Do, uh, do golems become golems of whatever the heck they like? Golemize with around the core? Like a sorcerer or an arcanist. Rhino, I don't know. Rhino, by definition, your looks are deceiving. That's a dumb question. You should. <laughs> and he just grabs the giant maul on his back. Does what a you... mage typically carry this? I mean, Nim would be the only one to know. Uh, yeah, Nim's like, it you depends on Nim. So, Nim goes, uh, well, I have known mages that wield weapons because they suck at magic. You suck at magic. So, Rhino's <laughs> just gonna set the head of the, um, fanged mace on Lily's back and just gently place the hand of it across Nim's chest and onto her shoulder. No, Nim didn't say that. <laughs> Are you saying no, that in magic? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, Nim's like, well, well, you did turn into a sheep that one time. But does that mean you think I'm bad at magic? Did you plan on turning into a sheep? That's not the point. <laughs> no, Rhino just lets go of the handle, and the handle starts pressing into you with a heavy oh, amount yeah, of weight. Oh, yeah, no. I'll try. Uh, I feel like Yellow would go and grab it before it's like leaned completely. Yeah, no, it. Nim's like, no, I don't, I don't do any kind of heavy lifting. That's why she's like, why do you think I'm a bad mage? I didn't say me. Yellow's got it. I want to lift the mage. And no. then she'll push it over so it falls towards Samson. Wee! <laughs> Can I lift it? Uh, point the, uh, make me a strength check. Woo! I'm 
Jason ito. Oh! <laughs> I am worthy of the hammer! <laughs> you, you lift it clear over your head and nearly lose your balance Woo! and fall over Lily. No, uh, I'm... Samson J. Merrymaker does not lose his balance. You have lifted the fanged mace and stumbled from its weight. It, but it, you did it, not fall, but you lost uh, balance for a second. Yep, I got it! Nim clap. Oh. So considering how damn well I lifted this, would I be able to even use it with ease, or is this like... Adrenaline. Or is this like a war hammer to me, where it's a mace to him? It is like a two-handed war hammer club thing. There's no way in hell you'd be able to use this. You just managed a feat to lift it above your head. Oh. And are threatening Woo! everything around you to end up dropping it the longer you hold on to it. I will continue to do so until he takes it away from me. He will snatch it away from you. <laughs> Yeah, well, the question is, but do you think... No, okay. Nimas, do you think I'm a bad man? <laughs> Nimas isn't about you. It literally was! He is, in fact, right. This is not about you. Anyway. It literally was. Anyway. Now Nim has more worries. He would certainly not hand you a fucking weapon you couldn't lift in your life. If he thought yeah. you, if he thought he was trying to give you something because you're a bad mage. No. Well, when you say it like that. When I say it like that, it's non shayified and therefore makes <laughs> more sense. But anyway. So why would you hand it to the literal scrawniest person in the group? Because he wasn't going to hand it to the one who can use a sword and a bow if he's trying to make a point about mages don't use heavy weapons. Nim's point was bad ones, dude. <laughs> Nim goes and thinks back to that one mage who wielded a warhammer for some reason. Hey, muscle wizards are something to be feared? Yeah. The muscle man Muscle, Muscle wizards are just scary. people who can't admit that they're bad at their job. Yeah. yeah. So, Nim goes, I knew a mage who wielded a warhammer. Not the point. We are here! As he just, you know, points at the tower. I forgot what the actual topic of discussion was. Not you. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what do we see? Tower and it's some Zorn. No, and some sand. about roll, the tower. Roll perception. Can I roll strength instead? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't. You can't muscle flex with your eyeballs. <laughs> uh, you got have muscles on your muscles. <laughs> gotta have muscles on your eyeballs. Oh, we suck. You did better than both of us. <laughs> the only time Hella see the seems to not roll good on perception is when it's sitting in front of her face. This is funny. But uh, all of course I did. Actually I just realized it's more it's funny in more ways than one. She really is like a cat. She has no nearsight. <laughs> Literally zero nearsightedness. She's genuinely a cat. Yeah. Uh jeez. Yeah, but if anybody yeah, owns a cat, you know what I'm talking about. They, they literally can't see two inches in front of their face because their eyes are just not made for it, which is why if you put a treat in front of their face, they literally lose it if their chin is touching it. Like, where the fuck is this thing? I, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. But, yeah, no. Did anyone pass? Because it's literally right in front of your face, I'm, I'm gonna say that it didn't have to be a 10, it was it would be a 5. Oh, cool. So it's not five. supposed to be something that you just don't see. No, it's not do I see it, it's but what do I see about, about it? it? Like, what? Yeah, Does, yeah, is it no, super no. imposing? Does it just look like somebody dropped their Legos in the middle of the desert? <laughs> like... well, no, it's... <laughs> I was just imagining the tower looks like that scary Lego Wario. <laughs> God. It, the base is slightly wider than B 
the rest of the tower until you get to the top where it once again flares out. I would say um, it's a good 300 foot radius. No, that's too much. Hold on, I need to see a grid, which I can easily do by flipping to a different tab. 